Hello, this is Jeff at ATS and today I'm going to go over saving waveforms on the eScope Elite. So we're going to capture a short waveform, it's a demo file, by going into measure and deep record, start record, and we're going to stop it. So in order to save it, we're going to click on the save button. Now here's a point we can do the minimal or a quick capture. All we can have as much detailed data as we choose. So if we were to simply hit save, and I'm gonna load that file we saved back in, you'll notice it just says 2000 unknown 2.1, a date and a time. Um, You've saved the capture, but if you get in the habit of doing this and not putting in any other information, all the files will be pretty much the same with a different uh, date and timestamp. So we're going to cancel here. We're going to do another quick capture, stop it, and go to save. So we have drop downs for year, make, model, engine, transmission, uh, systems, firing orders, and what our channels are connected to. Over here on the right, we can also enter in up to 255 characters, which will be appended to the file name. And we can also append known good, unknown, or known bad to that same file name. So let's save this one. We're going to go into 2013 and the make we're going to put as a Jeep. Now our model will break it down according to the make. So if we choose Jeep Everything here is a Jeep. If we change that to, let's say, a Kia, everything under this is all the models under the Kia make line. So we'll go back to Jeep, and we're going to choose a Patriot. We'll change the engine to 2.0. And this may be enough information, and it makes it so the file is known as 2013 Jeep Patriot 2.0, but you may want to add more information. So this is an automatic transmission. We can choose between automatic and manual. We have a subsystem of engine. I'll get back to that in a moment. And we can also put in the firing orders. So subsystem of engine means when you click next to the channel which currently says unknown custom everything in the drop down is related to the engine if we change that system to body control module now everything in the drop down is associated with a body control module and if there's a complex problem you want as much detail as you can possibly put in because uh, chances are you're going to go back to the file and look at it, review it in the future. Let's go back to engine and under here and by the way the labels I'm putting on have nothing to do with this particular capture. It's just a demo. So I can say we have fuel injector 1 in channel 1 I can choose ignition coil one. Now channel three, you don't have to do the drop downs. We can type in here whatever you want. So what I put in here is this is the transmission control module power pin 16 at the PCM and it's a yellow and black wire. So basically it's free typing in here. 
Now we can mix between engines and any other subsystem. And let's say we go to interior lights. It'll move these over under another category. And we're going to change interior lights to door left rear light switch. Uh, the main thing is you get the idea we can put in as little or as much data as possible. Now, where it says edit description, we can type in up to 255 characters that will be added to the file name. And we can say misfire happens only when engine is cooled. And you'll see it appended it to the file. And we could put in a known good which appended it to that as well. And then we can save the data. When we go back in at a later time to load the data, by clicking load, we'll click this. And you'll see, for instance, 2000 Jeep happens only when engine is cold and it's a known good file. Now one of the other things, besides using it in Measure and Deep Record, you can also do it in Fast Capture. Same thing, is we can go Fast Capture, stop it, save it. It's gonna remember the last file you were in, which is also important if you have a problem vehicle and you're doing multiple captures. You might be capturing these same things and we can change the text or add to the text happens only at 30 miles per hour you put in again whatever text you need we can save it i hope this helps and um, you start saving data and entering information and my next video is going to be how to modify or edit that saved data in case you labeled um, a year make model envy any information wrong. And that video will be coming out next week. Again, I hope this helps and uh, thank you.